So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing this 3D decoder that we uh, programmed as a transition zone at the first valve. This was number one zone back at the controller. So now we're going to take this decoder and interface it in here and also install a two-wire path to be extended. That's what the 3D does. It creates a hybrid system, takes a conventional system, makes it a decoder system, and now we're going to leave here with two wires and go out and connect some more valves. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be taking out all these wire connections that are not going to be used because we're going to create a, a transition zone. And this is zone one on the controller, so what I need to do is connect that into the two-wire path. I'm going to strip off the, the wire, the insulator, okay? And now I have zone one. I'm going to take the common, and I strip that back. So now I have a two-wire path, and that's what the hybrid's all about. I'm going to be taking the solenoid wires from that zone one, stripping those wires back, And now I'm going to be wiring in the 3D decoder. The 3D decoder, again, the blue wires go to your two-wire path, which in this example here are going to be the red and the white, the zone one and the common wire. These are the two wires from the solenoid, and they're going to be wired to the white wires of the decoder. I'm going to use the 3M DBYs again, splice that on. Splice this on. I'll install the gel caps later. Now here's my two wire path and this is what I want you to understand is you need to take off a little bit more of the insulation off the conductor. Alright, so here's my two wire path and here's my two wire path and here's my two wire path. So this is going to be all spliced together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Lyman's pliers and I'm going to twist these two together. I'm going to take the third wire, which is the decoder wire, and I'm going to wrap that around nice and neat also. So when it's all through, you'll see a nice neat connection like this. I'll cut off the, the extra. I'll use the wire nut, and now this one is ready for the gel cap also. Now my second wire path is going to be my common wire with my red wire. Going to twist those together nice and neat. I'm going to take the Dakota wire, go like this. I'm going to bring that back in nice and smooth into the existing twisted wires. Nice and neat. I'm going to take the gel, the wire nut, put that on. Okay, so now that we've wired in the uh, solenoid to the two white wires. The two blue wires are going to the red wire which it represents the zone one from the controller and the common wire. My two wire path is spliced into there so now what we can do is take this two wire path and extend it out into the field to do a master valve, to do a flow sensor, to do additional valves all on a two wire path with a field decoder for each, a master valve, flow sensor and things like that.